Assalamu alaikum viewers, welcome to my channel Genome Wide Study. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the videos. In this video, we will try to do the sentence analysis or to determine the evolutionary conserved region between two species genome like this. The, this is the figure of two genome of the two species that are the Solna, Lagopersicum and the Arabidopsis thaliana and these lines show the conserved region that was evolved from generation to generation. And we also try to find the genes that are present in our family, studied family that have how much conserved region in the other plant genome. So how we will do this? We will do it through the TV tool. So for constructing the figure like to show the conserved region between two species, let's start. First, you need to open the folder where you are keeping your files related to this project and make a subfolder named Sentinel Analysis. And then open the a folder in which you are keeping your sequences. For making the sentence analysis, we need the genomic and uh, GFF file of the two species. One is you are a studied species that in this case we are study the family genes in tomato. So we will take the genomic and GFF file from the tomato genome while the other is the related species in which we want to know the conserved genome that I am in this case I am taking the Arabidopsis liana you can take any other species that you want to check that your plant species have how much region or genome similar to the other species you can take anyone so we will take these two species Arabidopsis liana and Solanum lactoforsicum and we take the pasta genome sequence that we have extracted or downloaded from the phytosome if you know that how to download the, the file that gff3 file and pasta so you can uh, you can watch our video and the link of that video video you can find from the description first you need to extract this this file that uh, genome file and gff3 file of both the species Then you need to open the TB tool Go to graphics and sentinel visualization and then open one step MCSCAN X. So we need the genome sequence file pasta of species 1 and also GFF3 file of that species. So we take the genome sequence of our species 1 that is tomato or our study species and also take the pasta file and gff file of the species 2 that the our other related species that in this case i am taking the arab doctor Saliana, so you can take anyone so for the comparison and also give the set output directory that where these files will be so open your folder, destination folder or the sentinel analysis and give this and now start. So it will start the analysis and after analysis you will get a lot of files and it will take a little bit of time. So you must wait for it. So when the process completed, so you will get these type of files. 
but for front end analysis we need only gff file ctl file and collinearity file so then for for front end analysis again open the tv tool and go to graphic front end visualization and dual fencing plot for mc scan now you need to put the ctl file that is prepared and here gff file and a collinearity file and press stop so it will give you the comparison of these two genomes that these genomes have the these similarities or have the essentially between these two genomes this is the genome of solanum lactoporticum ultimate while this is arab rafis thaliana so they have the chromosome 1 2 3 4 5 and these are the chromosome of ultimate uh, and these are region show they are conserved evolutionary sequences but if we want to know or if if we want to see our gene that the gene of our protein family that which one have the conserved evolutionary relationship with the this uh, other species like in, in this case rabdafa thaliana so we need to put the name of our transcript so that name you can take from the excel sheet open the excel sheet in which you are keeping your uh, previous data so this one so take this transcript name copy and open the to the tool paste here and stop also talking so you didn't see that you didn't got any gene here so maybe there is a difference or the name difference in the transcript name that you have interfere have the different transcript name that uh, contain you are genome sequence file that you have put it so how we check this that that what is that what is the name in that Uh, genome file. So for that, open your folder where you have kept that these files like this, and open the mm, this collinearity file. Open in open in notepad. here you see in this file the transcript name is have this additional name that dot one dot itag two dot two point four so copy this and write in front of each transcript copy and paste and then stop now you will see that these red lines are the or are, are the genes of our gene family or protein family that we are studying and that show that this gene have the evolutionary relationship with this arabidopsis gene while this gene have with this and this gene have with this evolutionary relationship with the arabidopsis gene so how we know that which one this gene so for that you need to check them one by one for example i am taking one 
example for that purpose you can delete other and only remain this move x and then start here you will see any that line so it means that this gene didn't have any evolutionary relationship with the rhabdoxus gene so you can delete it and paste other and then for so other have so you can also check the other delete or only one remain and now start this one so this is uh, that second transcript so you can write here this if name that it belongs to this one and likewise you can check one by one either if you want to write their name here and and make the easy for the reader that which gene has the evolution relationship with orbit of this or you can also get all that transcript name and do that sensing analysis this one so then you can also make some edit a change graph settings is uh, length width or height and then save it you, you can also make some editing in a Photoshop or other software in which you have a command and save it into your destination folder and use it in your manuscript and for your analysis. So this is our video about the sensing analysis between two plant species. You can compare any two plant species and then present the analysis uh, results. Hopefully you like this. If you like, so please subscribe and share the video. Thank you.